Hey there guys and thanks for joining me today on a new video on Elite Dangerous. I guess you guys must have all been wondering where I have been. I've uploaded a couple of videos on Elite but I haven't really been talking much. Um, and I do apologize if you've been wondering where I've been. I've actually been here playing Elite Dangerous a lot over the past couple of weeks. I've been bounty hunting, trying to get myself into a bigger ship. And that's what this video is about. You're looking at the Vulture, the very cool paint scheme. And uh, I'm about to trade this one in. I really like the Vulture. It's, uh, it's a very cool ship because it's, it's slightly bigger than a normal fighter. It's uh, actually quite a lot bigger than a normal ship that you're, that you're used to. I mean, when you look inside the cockpit, you can actually see that there's this stair, this staircase. And there's another seat behind it for like a, a second second commander or a second pilot or co-pilot if you will and then there's the door behind it and i mean when you look at the size of the ship you can only imagine there must be quite a lot of space back there you can think of stuff like bunk beds and, and whatever else you need to stay on a ship for a little bit longer but what i really want as much as i like uh fighter ships and being all nimble and agile what i really wanted was uh you know a bigger a bigger ship an actual ship in which you could you could you could say this is my home now this is where i live and of course this is um is not the vulture the vulture has a lot of limitations when we look at stuff like the uh, the power plan and uh the fact that it doesn't have a huge jump jump range um, right now you're seeing 1.3 light years jump range that, that's because I've actually stripped the ship um, to, to sell it in a minute um, bounty hunting took me a while to get enough money um, I've never played this game with credits in mind I've always done what I like uh, and for that reason I, I started out with bounty hunting when the, fir the, the game first came out um, after that I went to do some trading I then went exploring I've done mining and I've all done it on my own pace and um, sure a little bit with um, trying to do it as money efficient as possible but never with a full dedicated commitment so it's always been on my own tempo and you can see here what I made money from you can see exploration it got me uh, 5.7 million and that was on a single trip you know that was my one and only true exploration trip that I did some videos on as well then you can see 10 million from mining you can see 20 million from trading and nothing on smuggling and then of course we have uh, 55 or 56 million almost on combat which is mainly uh, bounty hunting and then a little bit of combat bonds you can see it there 55 on bounties and yeah 800,000 on combat bonds um, so right now I'm at 76 million for my current assets um, so when I sell the ship I should be just over 70 million which in my opinion is just enough to uh, outfit the Python so that it's a little bit better than the Vulture and then I can grow into the Python as I go along and make it even better but I just wanted to get, take you guys along for this video and um, you know just make sure that you guys can can see what I've been up to and I'm, I'm actually very oh <laughs> I didn't uh, <laughs> claim my bounty yet. We'll do that right now. So we got some extra money. We also need to talk to the police. But I can't do that here. So anyway, I wanted to take you guys along because it's going to be my first impression of the Python. And I'm really excited for it. So I suggest that we, um, we just go and do this. The reason I, I think I'll really like the Python is because it's bigger. I think I said that a moment ago. It's the first ship where you can actually say that you have like an actual ship behind you with uh, like probably a corridor and a hallway and maybe a couple of rooms. You know, I don't want to make the, the ship look bigger than it is, but I, I, I do think because it's quite flat, but I do think that it'll have a little bit more room than the Vulture. You know, it's less high, but it's uh further stretch to the back anyway let's do this i'm actually nervous for this because it's a lot of money here we go this is scary i'm always scared about buying ships because that it's the only the one and only thing that costs money you know you can swap out compartments okay this is this is incredible 
So one of the things that I'll like about this, and I can see that already, is the fact that your, uh, your chair is obviously offset. Oh, look at that. I should also mention in this video, in a second, I'm going to be doing, oh my God, that's so cool. I'm going to be looking around with the Oculus so we can get a, a better sense of the cockpit. But this is amazing. I mean, we've got uh, a chair next to us and it's just so cool to see a dual cockpit with the, the center console, which has a, a lack of buttons. And, and uh, if, if you ask me, it should, should have some more. Um, let's turn off the hood. But yeah, this is this is awesome looking. Let's go and take a look from the outside. So it's gonna have the default paint job and we're going to fix that in a second. I won at the Mayhem event and I got 25 pounds worth of camos. And basically I took the tactical packs for a lot of ships. Oh wow, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm so incredibly happy with this. I think this is one of the prettiest ships in the game. Um, it's super sleek. I like the the profile on the ship, and it's big. It's it's a, it's a very large ship. This is incredible. Before we change the paint job, I just want to look at it. It's almost touching the ceiling as well. That's really cool. I like the landing gears. They're heavy. They're huge. I like how the engines fold in just under the wing, if you can call it a wing. Anyway. And this thing, ladies and gents, I don't know if you'll agree with me, but it looks like uh, a cargo hatch that could open. What do you think? I might be wrong. I mean, I, I, I'm... You know what? That actually might be true because I'm not... Well, do you think that the uh, SRV, the boogie, do you think it'll fit underneath? Because I'm not sure. I like the... Can we call them uh, like atmospheric lights, like the, the lights on the side? Mood lights, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I like it. I like the, the strip on like the, the roof of the cockpit, the way it's like a black strip going up. And then the, uh, the pointy nose. Very, very cool. Very impressive. I love it. All right, let's go back into the cockpit and open Starport Services. And I'll go into the outfitting. But before we do any outfitting, um, and I'm not going to take you along for all the upgrades or anything, guys. I'm just going to set this thing up for combat. And uh, I might do a separate video on that. Anyway, let's take a look at the paint job. So I've got a couple. We've got purple, which is not what I'm going for. This one is pretty cool, actually, because it's graphite. It's like, like a, a gray-black. This is just like for the, for the richies under us, I suppose. A khaki, which is like brown. And we got the olive, which is pretty standard, isn't it? Yeah, it's very close to the standard, as you can see. But then we've got the one that I will most probably be going for. It's the white one. I mean, I really like black and white. I'm super simple in that sense. And with this one, you can see that the body is white with the black features, which is awesome. It would have been a little bit better if that stripe on the back of the cockpit going to the center of the ship would have, would have also been black. I would have liked that. Because that's the way it is on the on the default one as you can see here you can see like the nose tip is black and then above the cockpit is black and I wish it would have been the same on the white one but unfortunately it isn't let's apply that now I can also do decals and as you can see there's this weird cross and this is from the EGX you could win them I'm just going to apply them I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them I just want to put them on to see what they'll look like um, okay, I don't know if I like the one on the front, so I'm going to take that one back off. Just this one. However, the ones on the side might be nice, but I might have to find a better point of view. We could just go into third-person mode here and take a look. Where are they? There they are. Okay, I don't think I like them. I, I don't think I like them. Okay, I'm stuck in the ceiling, unfortunately. I mean, they don't really make sense. Their location is quite... They look pretty cool. I had them on the Vulture, maybe you've noticed. Do I like them? I'm not sure. Let, let me know what you think. If you think I should keep them or not. For now, I'm going to take them off. But if you think that they look pretty cool, then I'll put them back on. I don't like putting on the actual rankings. 
uh, that you that you can put on simply because I don't know it's just not my I just don't like it maybe it looks nice on the front this one because it's such a pointy nose it, just, it looks too official like I don't like to be branded in that sense I suppose maybe that's me but whatever I can sell these tiny little things Anyway, I'm going to do a separate video on actual flying the ship and, and all that. I don't want to make this one too long. Stay tuned. Before I close off, though, I just wanted to really uh, mention really quickly, I uploaded a couple of elite videos recently, and I actually uh, uh, got a couple of extra subscribers, and I just really wanted to thank you for subscribing. If you're watching this now, I really do appreciate it. I'm happy that you like my videos, and um, I hope that you'll uh, that you'll stick around for more videos to come. Oh, and I have to say again, I'm I'm so impressed by this ship. Look at the nose. It's it's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, guys, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up here. I'm going to thank you for watching and uh yeah, stay tuned for uh, for more videos. I'll catch you guys later.